Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks. And today I'm gonna to show you how to turn your Nexus 6P into a pixel. Now that Android 7.1.1 was released, a lot of those pixel exclusive features are now part of stock Android. The new emoji, camera app, restart button, touch latency improvements, and a lot more were included with the latest update to the Nexus 6P. However, there are still a few features that Google reserved for its Pixel devices, which is pretty annoying if you bought the Nexus 6P only a year ago. Things like the moves, gesture shortcuts, Google Assistant, the nightlight red screen filter, blue accent color, and a few more are still Pixel exclusive. But thanks to a new flashable zip from developer Matthias Lopez, you can now close this feature disparity gap almost entirely. But before we get started, this is a very specific zip since it modifies system UI and framework files. That means it'll only work for the Nexus 6P, but even then you'll have to be running 7.1.1 and build number NMF260. Aside from that, it's a flashable zip, so you'll need to be rooted with a custom recovery install. If you meet all those requirements, start by downloading the zips from step one in my full tutorial. And yes, there are actually two zips here. One is the base mod, and the second is an update patch. So be sure to grab both. With that taken care of, just boot your phone into custom recovery. From here, start by making an Android backup. It's the best way to undo this mod if it breaks something or if you just don't like it. Once you've done that, flash the first zip. It's the one called update v8.zip. Once you're done there, tap the back button, then select the update v9 zip and go ahead and flash that one as well. After that, just reboot your phone and you should be ready to try out the new features. So first up, you'll be prompted to select a new home screen app since the mod installed the Pixel Launcher. This version of the Pixel Launcher is fully functional with the integrated Google Now page and long press launcher shortcuts, so it's just like the Pixel's home screen. But most of the interesting stuff can be found in the settings menu. For one, you'll notice that the accent colors are now blue instead of dark green, and that's the same in other aspects of the UI. Then if you head to the display settings menu, you'll find the nightlight option near the top, which was inexplicably left off the final version of 7.1.1. This is fully functional too, so you can set it to come on at sunset automatically, or you can even toggle the red screen filter manually if you want. Aside from that, if you scroll down a bit in the main settings menu, you'll find the move section, which has some of the Pixel's custom gestures. Now I haven't been able to get the fingerprint swipe for notification move working, but the rest of these seem to work just fine. That means you got the double tap power to launch camera shortcut, which yeah, the 6P already had. But you also get the wrist twist gesture to switch between front and rear cameras and lift to wake is included as the last option. Aside from that, you also get the solid white navigation buttons and even the Google Assistant animation, which pops up and launches the Assistant when you long press your home button. So it really does turn your Nexus 6P into a pixel. And it's a pretty simple mod, so big thanks to the developer. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on gadgethacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, Happy gadget hacking.